So what do you think about the 7v7 and 9v9? 7v7, you're going to have issues of players that are pigeonholed, which means they're going to play one single position. For example, they're going to be a defender only. They're never going to learn how to attack. It's stuck in one single position. They don't get to work the other three elements of the game. One and two, they get less touches in the ball this way. So they're, you know, getting 50 touches in the ball versus saying 300 touches. We use Beast. We're trying to give players maximal touches. We want them to play all sides of the game. And when you do 77, there's six other players plus the other team. Younger players at the 77 age group can only basically understand themselves, a teammate, the ball, and a defender. And that's probably the case for about 98% of the players in the country. So when they don't have access to just that, and now you're giving them essentially 12 other players, it's too much thought process going on in their mind that they can't control and they don't know how to deal with it. We look at our first event, which is going to be a 2v2 tournament. It's one player and one player. If you look at a 1v1 scenario, 100% of the responsibility on winning or losing is on that one single player. When you add two now, so it's two players, it's now 50% shared responsibility. When you add three, it becomes 33.3%. When you go to four, it's 25%. When you go to five, it goes to 20%. So hopefully what you're noticing with this is every time you add more players, the pressure and the responsibility to win or lose is now separated with multiple players versus putting that pressure and that, that need to win on one or two players. When players are playing 77 and 9v9, and what I've seen is these kids don't have fun or as much fun as they should when they play. They're not scoring enough goals. They're not enjoying the process. They're pigeonholed in one position. Kids want to have fun. They want to play. They want to celebrate. Like I've seen kids being told they can't celebrate a goal when they score because mom and dad don't want to allow them to do that. That's what kids want to need to do. They need to fall in love with playing the game. And they're not falling in love with playing the game when they're told they can't do something or that they're playing at numbers that are way above what they're able to do, AKA 77 and 99. With players at that age group, they're just skillfully not good enough to be able to play, dribble, pass, shoot, receive, to be successful at 77 and 99 because those teams are basically just using win at all cost methodology to win. Kick the ball as far down the field as you can and hope that the biggest, the fastest, and the strongest player receives it to put it in the back of the net. And that is not conducive to long-term player development.